Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Erica, and today I am going to be setting up my bullet journal spread for the last week in October going into the first week in November. And even though this video is a little bit late, it's in the middle of the week instead of the beginning of the week, I hope that you can pull something else to work on while you watch the video. Um, maybe you have a sketchbook or an art journal that you can work on so that we can journal together like journaling buddies. I'm setting up my weekly spread pretty much the same as usual, but instead of using stamps, this time I'm testing out my new planner stickers that I created on craft sticker paper. Basically, I just took the typewriter stamps that I always use for these spreads and I created stickers out of them just so that it could go a little bit faster and it totally did. It took maybe just like one minute versus however many minutes and it was just very convenient. So if you're interested in these new stickers or any of the other products that I'm using for this spread, be sure to check out the video description because I've linked everything down there. For this week's theme, I used some pages from an old book and a black and pink theme. I can't believe I've never actually used pages from a book before. I usually use scrapbook paper that has images from old books and old literature, but never an actual book, and I really like the look of it in my journal. Besides the decorations, the basic function of my weekly spread remains the same, just writing a few main tasks on the left side, and then I put my goals for the week on the right side, and I also scattered some random writing here and there. I'm also going to show you my header for my daily logs on the next page. I have been just keeping it really simple, but since I have these nifty weekday craft stickers, I decided to start using them, and I really like the result. It's still pretty simple and minimal, but it kind of ties into the weekly page. I really enjoyed creating the spread, and even though some things weren't perfect, specifically my stamping, I still really like the overall look at the end. And I'm trying something different in today's video by keeping most of the collage process in real time instead of speeding it up, and I'd love to know what you think. For now, I'll leave you with some music and the subtle sounds of paper until the end of the video.
All right, everyone, that is it for today's bullet journal weekly spread. I hope you enjoyed journaling with me today. I hope you have a lovely week. Until the next video, happy journaling, happy art making, and I'll see you next time.